that loser's bracket. Not a place many people would have predicted, but game four now underway. Yeah, as you said, I mean, that loser's bracket is a very long day, especially Ooh. on a Sunday, so. Very long. Only top 12 right now. Scum decides to go top middle. Formal already off to a good start. And we shall see if Scum and the green wall are able to step it up and take this to a game five already. Playing so, so well. Oh. They have early control, and here okay. we go. Well, Scum's kind of in that no-nonsense mood already. He found himself a double. Uh, managed to get some hill time there, but it is going to be Krim that jumps straight in. Trades coming through. Optic Gaming getting all the kills. 30 seconds left on the hill, though. This is where you want to see Optic Gaming potentially push through, trying to control the spawn, because very similar to map number one, if you remember, it was Optic Gaming that got the hill time, but Echo Fox held the spawns for that second hill. Yeah, and that's a great response from Echo Fox. They get a four dead from Optic, and you can already see Scump. Formal deciding to push towards this radio tower, try to work on spawns for next, but Saints already watching it, and this is a great response from Echo Fox. The map's gonna be about tied up, but Echo Fox have full control for this winery hill. Yeah, Karma does shut down Aqua, but Aqua really not gonna be too fussed because he is gonna get a good spawn over towards that next hill. He looks like he's just watching grandmas. The overhead view shows you Saints. This is gonna have a, a little bit of a gunfight very soon. Of course, those two players that rotated for up the gaming through towards Radio Tower. Saints should be able to find both those. There's one, that's formal. There's Skump. Saints does a phenomenal job, but there's still one player from up the gaming being a nuisance. It is gonna be Krim. Krim now one shot. Saints desperately wants to hunt him down. Still 10 shots left, but the bayonet comes through from Krim. Saints, take a seat, my son. Yeah, and that's a huge play, because look, look at that minimap. Krim6 winning that one-on-one, -on -one. another gunfight, gets Optic the, the favorable spawns. What a play from Krim. One one-on-one -on -one changes the tide for Optic Gaming. Now all of Echo Fox starting to spawn out. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful play. And Echo Fox instantly, I mean, you can see where they're spawning on the minimap if you're listening by radio commentary. Well, I can tell you it's not that close. So they're going to have to now set up on that next hill. Optic Gaming will get that scrap time. But again, still a, a rather close game. For me, the importance here is Karma. 525 points out of 625 towards the fighter pilot. Just 100 more points. And he's going to start getting close to those streaks. Currently on a four streak. Krim also, note, on a three streak of his own. He's at 485 out of 625. So these two players, massive for Optic Gaming to get those streaks. That's your teammate, Krim. Calm down, okay? Calm down. That would have been terrible right there. Yeah, and Echo Fosh just have a perfect setup. I mean, already gaining about 15 points. They rotated early, but Optic doing a, a two-man push in the back, trying to work middle map as well. So we'll see if Echo Fosh, Optic obviously knows where they all are, but three dead for, for Optic Gaming. This is obviously puts Formal in a very tough spot. All of Optic spawn out. And both of the players for Optic Gaming there on streaks both full. And what yep. was interesting is Krim was the first one to go around that corner. You almost want Formal to bait a little bit there for Krim. Yeah. Because if he does get that one kill, he gets the fighter pilot. Yeah, absolutely. And we talked about how vital those can be, but they just honestly took too much time. Yeah. Trying to work those streaks, that's sort of the bad thing about it. I mean, streaks yeah. are great, but you like points. Points help <laughs> you win. Points win your games, that's for sure. Without the points, you're definitely not winning a thing. But speaking of points, Echo Fox now. 86 points to 54 of up to gaming. Again, the, the final few moments on that hill before we get to the, the last hill of the first rotation. And it's a bit of a scurry there for Echo Fox. Up to gaming did have time, of course, to set up nicely. Scump, one shot, needs to be careful. As he somehow finds the pick there on Saints with help of a nade. Formal shuts down one, so does Karma. So up to gaming, early on on this hill at least, Joe, getting a lot of points back. Yeah, this is the first rotation they've actually had early on. I mean, you saw on Winery in the last hill that we were just yeah. at, all Echo Fox finally opted gaming, rotate early. They get a nice setup going. We'll see how Echo Fox are able to respond. But Optic about to tie the game in great kills from Aqua Saints and, you know, Facetta. I mean, they're just doing such a great job, but Optic yeah. trying to respond. Just as you say, how's Echo Fox going to respond? They jump in the hill, they yeah. find three. Lately, Krim all by himself, but Krim manages to just delay the push from Echo Fox. He gets a double, and with 16 seconds left on the final hill, the first rotation scores on the doors. 91 to Echo Fox, 86 to Optic Gaming. Still the fight for scrap time. I think Echo Fox may just leave it. Of course, you do have Saints up top middle, but Krim actually guns him. So Pacento now left in a one versus two. He's going to fall, and Optic Gaming through brute force now have control of the next hill. Yeah, and we were talking about that scrap time fight that Karma won. Honestly, do you even want to push that last 10 seconds? Yeah. But Krim6 and Scump win some gunfights. But again, every time it seems that Optic gets into a little bit of control, Echo Fox responds. Yeah, just like that, Scump, 11 bullets. I don't even want to take his time to reload this. This like just back up the stairs. Of course, it's just kind of waiting for a teammate to maybe cause a distraction, but Saints read it like a book. Now can he find the pick on Formal? No, he can't. Formal double kill. Formal looking for more. Not gonna happen. Saints now goes for the flank, shuts him down, and the trades continue to come through. And nicely read on the spawns from Facento. Gets the call up from his teammates. Hey, we got good spawns. Facento immediately knows to turn around and look how close to those streaks he is as well. Yeah, I mean, and we've seen it time and time again. Not necessarily the first time we're at this hill, 
but the second time you can see teams pick up more and more time and look look at those spawns look at that minimap i would love to see facento try and juggle the hill here something we haven't really seen too much in world war ii it's pretty tough to do in this game that's for sure but this could be the tough perfect spot. opportunity moment five seconds play your life but unfortunately someone comes up top no streaks whatsoever for Ecker Fox. Yeah, if you look at that minimap, Faceno, not only does he die there, he actually spawns out as well. So Optic pushing towards this back dirt street. If they get these kills here, all of Echo Fox will spawn out. But Echo Fox doing a great job. Aqua just trying to waste time. Saints in this hill now. And you can oh, see wow. Optic also starting to spawn out. So great response from Optic, but there's one more player, Scump, all the way in the back. And that identical fight happened in the first rotation. If you remember, Mook, it was Saints that shut down Formal and Scump. Now it's Aqua that gets a big three kills, holds the spawns for Echo Fox. Of course, Krim was able to break it in that first rotation, but Krim, of course, he, he spawned out now, so yeah. Echo Fox should pick up a big chunk of this time. I mean, if, if you're Optic, you just go back and look at these early hills. Yeah. They're just not winning rotations. Plain and simple, they're not rotating early enough, and this allows, you know, Echo Fox to have this big of a lead. Luckily enough, though, for Optic Gaming, no one from Echo Fox does have streaks. Assault is very, very close, however. 200 points away. Make that 100 points as he finds that pick. Now can he go for the trade? Flies it! Formal gets the kill. That's a fighter pilot. Just 25 more for the dive bomb. Somehow still away as he absorbs the nade. Of course, Optic Gaming do have hill control, and this is the perfect time to use it. Use the fighter pilot. Get your extra streaks. Yeah, he's just waiting a few seconds so his teammates can push up. If you look at that mini-map, all Echo Fox can push that hill. All of Optic Gaming stuck in this grandma's house right here. We'll see if Echo Fox can get those kills. Already starting their assault. Let's see if Optic can respond, but Echo Fox already spawning Optic Gaming out towards that radio tower. Of course, the streaks were earned. No artillery, though, so just a glide bomb left for Echo Fox. But the score is really starting to mount up. 178 to 110. Optic Gaming fly through. 25 seconds left on the hill. They look potentially good to, poten uh, to, to grab this time, but Echo Fox, again, they can afford to go for one more push if they want. Yeah, and you can see Saints Faceno drop. The other four just decide to go towards that next yeah. hill. That's all they need to do. Hill number four. We'll see if they get that early setup. All of Optic spawning back here, back by this parking lot. And we'll see if Echo Fox can hold strong here. Now a 40 second lead for them. But those are two big kills as you look at that mini map. Two of Echo Fox members spawning very far away. Great kills from Krim6. This wouldn't be a ridiculously big comeback, but it would be a comeback, that's for sure. 135 up to gaming score. Echo Fox on the hill. 184, no assault. 22 and 11. What a performance from him. Streaks also used there. No avail, and Scump throws an aid at Saints, he falls, and this is a hard point that Optic Gaming do tend to have a lot of success on. Yeah, absolutely, but Assault again, picking up two for Seno, having to take him down. <laughs> Always sucks when your teammate has to take you down, but it is what it is, and again, Echo Fox responding for Seno and Aqua, and right now, this is all you want to do if you're Echo Fox, just keep yep. trading and contesting this hill. Well, that's all you need to do, just keep splitting that time, and you will eventually win the game, force Optic Gaming to have a fantastic hold. I think, honestly, it may all come down to the second hill once again when we get to that rotation 13 seconds left optic gaming should be good to get it now it all comes down to optic splitting the time here on this first hill of the third rotation the score as we rotate 192 to what should settle at around about 159 i believe there's no streaks for for really anyone and that's what you want if you're optic gaming they get the kills in rotation they have the early time here on the first hill yeah this is exactly where you want to be if you're crim six top of this middle building you know where they're spawning look at karma already thinking about that next yep. hill as you talked about it a great play for him, but Echo Fox expected it. And they still need to make sure that that's what they do. Players have to push through that right-hand side, that tower side, and get control of the next one, because that is really where this game is going to be won or lost. Up to gaming have done a great job to chip away the lead. 193 to 180, but Echo Fox still barraging in towards the hill. Saints with the trade. Scump's going to go flying into the hill, though. He knows there's going to be a couple of plays from Echo Fox. There's still, though, no, with 24 seconds left, Merc, it's still Echo Fox that have the spawns for second hill. Yeah, and you saw Krim6 was able to pick up that fighter pilot, so that could be very important. Maybe not on this next one, but this is the one after that. But this is a huge fight right here. Echo Fox still spawning at the hill, but what a play from Aqua thinking about those spawns. Now, note, Krim does have a fighter pilot. Calm also working towards streaks. This is where the game may actually just completely slow down. If you're Optic Gaming, that's oh, that's just a monumental win right there. That's going to put him even closer towards those streaks. Now, if you're Optic Gaming, you want a slow push, and then this is where you may actually have to invest that streak. Yeah, right? you will, right away. He's actually going to use it. Krim6 able to pick up one. But that's it, and Aqua trades that kill. We'll see what Opti's able to do with that push. But Aqua, again, picks up on a three streak right now. What a play. And look where Optic's spawning at that radio tower. You do not want to spawn there whatsoever. This could be it for Echo Fox. Uh, yeah, they have potentially a, a good 
split here are a good pinch if you're up to gaming, but they need the kills, and the kills just have not come. Aqua on the flank finds one. Comma, last man alive, 222 to 194. Echo Fox, this is going to be an unbelievably close ending to this game. I believe they cannot win on this hill, but all they will need is two seconds if Optic Gaming are not able to contest. Krim shuts down Assault in, goes up to Gaming one more time. Aqua is going to pick up a fighter pilot That's as well. You. Saints now looking for trades. He's going to fall. Optic Gaming get control. Now look at the race on the minimap towards the next hill with five seconds left till it pops. Bear in mind though, Echo Fox with streaks. Yeah, and you can see number two Krim spawns all the way out. That's such a, a far spawn for him. Echo Fox have control. Here comes that fighter pilot in from Aqua. This is so important. Only nine more seconds for Echo Fox. Optic have to attack now. Finally, oh, no, dead. Echo Fox is spawning out as well. Two players way, way away. Saints on the hill. Can he go big? No. Karma shuts him down. And Optic Gaming break. Once again, they cannot win on this hill. They will need to rotate as well. But 36 seconds, they need every single second of it. All Echo Fox need now is four seconds. Yeah, and if you're Echo Fox, don't feed streaks. Jump, getting a little bit very close to it. About halfway there. If you're Echo Fox, have a smart push. If you don't win it, Rotate. Rotate. So right here, Saints <laughs> and Aqua. Let's see what they do. Already starting to head over towards that fourth hill. Vicenna all the way in the back. Didn't expect Crim6 to spawn there. And here we go. These are going to be the key fights. This is it. This is basically going to be the game. You've got nine seconds left on the hill. Up to gaming. Get that. They've reduced the deficit wonderfully. It's a 246 to what should be around about a 240 game. And in fact, Optic say, no, screw this. Rotate. No one's going to get the scrap time. Optic winning the gunfights as well. Scumman Rap Ball. That's get in. That's get in, Ben. It's for Sento. And for Sento flies into the hill. He gets the scrap time. 